Okay, so before we add the sliders, let us set a new logo for our website. Uh, right now, it just says my new website, and I think uh, we would all like to upload our own logos to it. So basically, I have created this logo to upload, and uh, this is what it looks like. Yeah, so it's it's just a random logo which I've created, and I've decided to name my company Via Reggio, which is a great place in Italy, which I visited just earlier this year. And you must go there, it's got some great beaches. So anyway, this is the logo which I have created and we are going to upload this logo to our website and uh, make it appear over here. So how do you upload your own logo? So first of all, go to your dashboard. Now you can go to your dashboard uh, by going to the top left corner when you're logged into WordPress. Under my new website, which is the name of your website, just go to dashboard. Open it in a new tab. Now from there, you go to Appearance and Theme Options. Okay, let the Theme Options open up. And now under Theme Options, in order to change your logo, you have to go to Main Settings. Now on the Main Settings, you just scroll down until you reach the Logo Options section. And now, first of all, you select your logo layout as how do you want your logo to be there? Do you Now, the default is this one where you can see the logo is occupying one third of the header area and this empty section is occupying two thirds. So there are two other options where the logo is occupying half of the header area and here is when the logo is occupying the full header area. We will choose the first one. That is this one where the logo occupies only one third of the area on the left hand side of the header. Now in order to upload our logo, first of all you need to just uh, create your logo and uh, uh, let it be of any size and the, the size of the logo which I have created is, let me check, is uh, it's 531 by 189. So it's, it's more wider than it is taller. The width is more than the height. So I, most logos in the world will, will either be, uh, will have a larger width than the height or will be square. Whatever your logo size is, it doesn't matter because the theme uh, is automatically programmed to resize your logo in a, so that you know it fits properly in the header section. So no worries, just create your logo. And when you have saved it to your desktop, just click on upload. And uh, now the WordPress media uploader will show up and you just click on select files or you can drop it. Let's choose select files and let us upload our logo. Uh, logo main. All right. So your logo has been updated. So you can just uh, choose your title. I'm going to leave it as logo main. I'm going to just change the caption to my WP website and I'm going to leave the alt text to via Reggio which is the name of my fake company and I'm going to click on select okay so now once you have uploaded your logo just click on save changes okay now just refresh your website and your logo should appear and there you go you have uploaded your logo and now let's see what other things we have under main settings there's something known as a 2x logo which is for retina screens like your macbook pro retinas or your iphone logos you can upload a logo which is twice which has got twice the pixel size of this one so that you know it doesn't look blurred uh, on a MacBook or any laptop with Retina screen. So we are not doing it here, but you should do it if you're doing it uh, for your uh, uh, for a client or for your own company. And uh, say you're not uploading a logo. If you're not uploading any logos, if you just want your company name as text, then you can just choose the font and the font size, etc., etc. And there is a section for a site tagline which is an optional line of text below your logo 
Well, I am going to opt not to do it, but if you had a tagline, this is what it would look like. So just add your tagline. You can uh, add the font. You know, you can choose anything. And uh, you can just click on Save Changes. And once that is saved, let us reload our page to see how the tagline looks like with the logo. Okay, it, it just appears below the logo like this. So if you want, you can keep it. But uh, personally, uh, my opinion, I don't think it looks that great. So I am going to remove it. All right. But if you wish, you can put it. So uh, but developing on WordPress is all about uh, trial and error. You, you, you just got to try what you think looks good and uh, go with your gut, go with your own sense of design. All right. So now that we have uploaded our logo. Oh, wait, let me just refresh to make sure that the tagline is gone. All right. Okay. No more tagline. So uh, always remember that whenever you make any changes under theme options, make sure you click on save changes. And th this makes sure that all your settings that you have changed have been saved. And once you click on save changes, in order to see the effect on your website, you have to reload the page. All right, or refresh the page. Okay, and this is the reload or refresh button. Okay, so now that we have uploaded our logo, let us add our own demo slider and let us add our own images and our own captions. Okay, now how do you add a slider? Let us go back to our dashboard and go back to theme options. Okay, so that's appearance, theme options. Since we are already here, go to home layout. All right, now let us configure how the home page of our website will look like. So first it says display a sidebar on the home page and uh, the current option is set to no. There is no going to be no sidebar on our home page. So if you click on this, this means that it will set a sidebar on the home page. So but no, just let it be the first one. We are not going to have a sidebar on the home page. So home page layout manager, let's, uh, we can configure this later. Home block settings, we can see this later home portfolio carousal settings we can check this later the icon menu the content options we can see this later all right so the first thing we are going to do is uh, go to slider settings 